Now tonight, the search for a killer continues in Hampton. Police say someone shot a teenager and left him for dead in the middle of a neighborhood. Tune on your site, Joe Fisher, talk with neighbors who made the discovery. Anita, there are still a lot of questions surrounding the death of 16 year old Daquan Gwen. Who did it? Why did they do it? And the question neighbors really want answered. Where is the killer tonight? It's just hard for me to grasp this. Shortly after neighbors spotted a body, investigators started looking for clues. We all are concerned about the safety of our neighborhood. Detectives surrounded the body of 16 year old Daquan Gwen, found lifeless in an alleyway on Catalpa Avenue near Shell Road. Officers used canines to track a scent several blocks over. Neighbor Irvin Littleton watched all afternoon as police documented the scene. But seeing something like this in less than 200 feet of your house, that's what gets me. This is a nice neighborhood. Several neighbors report hearing two gunshots late Thursday night. Sitting on the couch and they were very loud and very close. So. This woman says police searched the area but didn't find anything. It wasn't until more than 12 hours later around noon Friday when neighbors saw something out of the ordinary in the alley. Well, while I was cutting my grass, we looked and we thought it was a rug on the ground, but it turned out to be a body. I walked over, we looked at it and saw a lot of blood, an awful lot of blood. Police say they're looking into when the shooting actually happened. And there's blood still there. The scene hard to look at even for Littleton, a retired cop who says his sense of security is gone. Kind of don't want to go outside at night now because that's when we heard the gunshot. Now he and others are hoping someone is held accountable before anyone else is hurt. He's probably here walking the streets now. He needs to be caught and caught fast. And this is the third homicide this year in the city of Hampton, the second in a 15 hour span. Tonight, police say this incident does not appear to be connected to any others. Meanwhile, there is no suspect information at this point, and police are asking anyone who saw something or heard something to give them a call. Reporting in Hampton tonight, I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.